going on? We are going to make some carbonara today, the traditional Italian way to make carbonara. Let's smack your hog, bacon, some eggs. And I forgot something. Parmesian, Parmesian's cheese. Parmesian. <laughs> Obviously, you gotta open it. Parmesian. <laughs> and you gotta get the best native products from Italy, like Kraft. That's oh, hey, the best. Hey, don't hate on Kraft. <laughs> Kraft raised me. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> what? Alright, first of all, you grab a knife for meat. Does it look like a crazy person? Yes. Good. Technically. That's what I was going for. Can y'all see my meat? Jesus Christ. So you open it, and we need to make... That was a sharp knife. Yeah. We need to make this slat of meat into two. If I can get to cut it. Now, kids, don't do it that way. I'm a professional. Set, never mind. Set the guy with no fingers. What is that? Well, if he has no fingers, you won't have to worry about cutting them off anymore. Exactly. So now, this is best done with uh, cubed bacon or pancetta. Which actually, you know what, this is uh, Italian food, so adesso starò parlando in italiano. Così ci siamo più al... Uh, al come si deve fare, non so, e parlando italiano. C'è un paio di anni che, pani, un paio di anni che non parlo italiano, però, beh, vabbè. Cioè, sto abbastanza bene. So, die, quanti? Dieci anni? Non lo so io, cioè ci sono stati abbastanza. I have no idea what you just said and you do know you're going to have to put subtitles for that no, entire no, 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 no. No, you have to cuz that's not fair for us English born. <laughs> that was a lot of meat cuz I don't even think I think that's too much bacon. You can never have too much meat. Wait. Well, you say that. So we freeze the rest. So now we got the meat. Dude, am I a frame? Yes. Even oh. though when I'm here? Yes. Okay. So we put my meat aside. They time out, didn't it? That's, that screen is just, that's why. It times out. So now you grab your eggs. Which you say in Italian how? Ah, yeah. Hey, no, that's German. Uh, Whoa. That makes sense. So, adesso prendi le uova. Oh my god. <laughs> you grab your eggs. There we go. E poi. Oh god. Togli. Eh, boh, non so come si chiama. Il bianco di. Il bianco di ghiaia, no? De, 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 de la uova. Cioè, butti qua. Fuori. Via. You throw away. The, I don't know, what's the white part called? The white. You get rid of the egg white. So that's one that I messed up all the way. You grab the second one, you do the same thing. You take the little white out. Wait, what's wrong with the white part? You don't want the white part, you just want the yellow. That's the way it goes. That's, because that's the way it is. I don't know. I'm not Italian, dude. You gotta go and match the Italian dude. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> you, you're asking the wrong dude. I just know how to make it. You know, all those years ago when I used to live in Italy. <coughs> that plop. When I used to live in Italy, I learned how to do a few things. I used to I used to be a waiter in Delle Rose in uh, the restaurant. And uh, and I used to hang out with the cooks all the time. And they taught me little tricks and how to make pizza and how to make this and how to make that. So I learned a quite a few things besides speaking Italian. 
Every time. By it's... cracking an egg so beautifully that it's not even funny. It's good enough for Italian. Good enough for Mario. They're gonna come and whack you. Like, hey, oh, vowel sounds. One, two, three, four. How many did I put in there so far? One, the one that broke. Two, three, four. So I need six. I know exactly the Spanish word for six. Okay, El this is six. So, and I got a, a special word for you, El Moron. <laughs> El Morano. Gorlam. Okay. So, Gorlami. What the hell is that? Gorlami. <laughs> what was that joke? I don't remember what was that about. Inglorious Bastard. You know what? I still can't recall that part. Like they were like in a... It was kind of like the theater, but they were supposed to go in. And so this Nazi general officer or whatever. Okay, we're going off on a tangent here. And yeah, either way, it was Gorlami. Alright, so... Normally, the last egg, you will put the white and the egg and everything. But since I messed up so bad, I already got... Uh... Enough and white. Uh, I'm a, a beast of habit, so as soon as I'm done with something, I put it away. Now you grab a small fork. A fork, chasey. Oh. Forketa. Oh. So you whip your eggs. You see how it turns out to be like a. Let's get close to that. Can like a creep. Like it comes. Look, look at a little bit. Yeah. Like, like, like a creamy kind of. Thing, so you whip it, whip it real good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then you take your uh, Parme Parmesan cheese, and you're gonna put a lot of it in there. Wait. Uh, relax. Wait. Relax. Tranquilo. Tranquilo. Uh, Quick question, what is the Parmesan cheese and directly in the egg yolk supposed to do? Mix. So you don't add that midway through? Am I doing it midway through? Well, I'm, I'm just saying if someone was lazy for say, if they wanted No, there's no, in Italian cuisine, there's no laziness. You gotta do things the way they're supposed to be done. And you know what? Look, when it gets a consistency of about boogerish kind of, mm -hmm. maybe it needs a, just a little bit more. So it's pretty much making a uh, a booger. Yeah. No, a roux. A what? A roux. It's kind of like a. I learned it in culinary school, but I can't quite describe it. It's like if you had flour and milk or whatever, and then you kind of, you got to mix it while boiling it till it gets to the consistency of that. No. Okay. Not a ruse. A roux. A rubis. A roux. A Reuben sandwich. All right, so we got, we're talking a lot of smack. <laughs> you know what? I'm not even gonna edit it. I'm just gonna name it and put it on. <laughs> what? That way people know how to cook that fine so Luigi. Once you shut up. So once you do that, let's just put this aside. Once you do that, you got the water boiling. A bowl. Now no oil and no and no nothing in the water. So you salt it, I'm eyeball it. Cause I know I'm good like that. What he's saying is about a southern cooker's amount of salt in there. I'm not southern urn. I'm Caribbean-ish. Did you say southern urn? Exactly. I'm talking like y'all. We don't. All. Nobody says southern. Right. <laughs> Moving on. This is an interesting little thing that I inherit from my brother. This thing, it's like a past, like a spaghetti holder thingy container, and if at the top you see it's got orifices. Get close up on that. Yeah, that so no, this is something. This, dude, this this thing is like 
20 years old. That's older than me. Only. And it has, it's got markings on it that says two servings. One serving. Hmm. So, I don't know, I just think it's pretty nifty. So you just grab your pasta. This is it's gonna be uh, on the sexual and main eating. So we're gonna do two servings. About that much. I'm gonna have your bleep. All right, little trick for y'all non-tricksters. You grab the, the pasta, you put it over the water. You twist it and you let it go and it spreads. Another pro tip, if you set it in the center. And you spread it. Actually, you're supposed to spread a little bit more, but you know, I'm kind of out of practice. Now, I don't know if I've made enough bacon. Now I'm having second thoughts about the bacon. The My bacon friend. This is not for people who cannot consume pork on a daily basis. You can do whatever you want. Disclaimer. I ain't a doctor or a cook, so if you all die, that's not my problem. Wait, what? <laughs> hey, dude, I'm just showing them how I cook. I'm not telling them to do it this way. That's my disclaimer. Disclaimer. If you so, die, it's on you. Allora, chimichangas. Oh, that's not. Burrito. Oh, wait. Burrito. Taco. <laughs> Dude, you remind me of something. I'm, I'm about to make some new t-shirts, dude. Oh, God. You know, Sponsor time. So I'm gonna make a t-shirt that says, what's going on, Maine? How would you spell that anyway? Like Maine. Maine? Is it Maine with M-A? But, you say Maine? So I guess M-E-I-N? Oh. That's mine. <laughs> mine. Uh, mine and <laughs> Uber driver Volkswagen. Right. Skidoosh. So now, your turns. Um, you gotta move your pasta a lot. And you know that, that thing they say, they grab your pasta and throw it against the wall for the desk, BS. Actually, no. it's only one way of, because no. there's certain levels of pasta. Look, this is the easy way to do it. You grab the uh, whole string of pasta, you bite it, and you look in the middle of it. The less white you see, the more cooked it is. Ta-da! That's... Yeah, like I said, the tossing it against the wall, that's one ghetto way of doing it. I don't want to throw my pasta in the wall, besides the fact that you gotta clean the wall afterwards. No, what, what I normally do is I take the spoon. If you could cut through it by just holding the spoon on it, it's been cooked too much. Or if it just disintegrates when you press against it. Yeah. Oh. So for those who can't burn their hands. So now, rem remember, you gotta pull out the pasta a little bit before you uh before you because pretty much you're you're finishing cooking the pasta with the sauce so you don't want to overcook the pasta so you got to pull it a little bit before so it's kind of like lo mein no it's like a little bit like lo mein pasta well if well yeah i, I i'm not italian I'm, you know, Italian? I ain't one of them Ati uh, Italian. Okay. You know, for water. Roof, baby, roof, baby. For the steam don't get you. And that will also stop the cooking process. Because we want to stop cooking a little bit. Put this back on. Spray with cool water. So it, so it's nice and stop cooking. You don't want it to cook anymore. So we need my favorite utensil. The spatula. No. Uh, oh, I guess all my long wooden spoons. Are, all my spoons are like that. Why are they all bent? Because they're made out of wood. Oh, there we go. If your wood bends, you might need to see a doctor. Oh, it's straight. 
Don't. I'm not. You grab your bacons. And slowly rotate it into the bowl. I mean, fly. Throw it in there. And that's when the goodness begins. Woo! That's some good bacon. Any old bacon will do. And by any old bacon, he means American bacon. See, normally I will, I will do it with pancetta. Pancetta is diced in cubes and it's made for a specific part of the pork, which is still technically bacon, but it's, I don't know, it's different. 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 It's actually diverso. Yeah. <sighs> Good enough. I'm That's what the bacon looks like. <laughs> See, and then you get all that. Because technically we're going to use the fat of the pork to kind of cook the, uh, the rest of the sauce. The sauce. The, the sauce. See, I think this was too much bacon, dude. Unless you got vegan bacon, then... Yeah, there's no such thing. But so-and-so said so. <laughs> so-and-so is a dumbass. <laughs> so now we just gotta wait till this renders and, and let's go of all the fat and it browns up a little bit and then... Uh, we're gonna be eating some uh, carbonara. Is it? Wait, I think I know what that is. I've heard of that before. It's like, wait a minute. I'm having... Brain diarrhea? No, it's like that thing with pictures. Headache with pictures? Yeah, it's a headache with pictures. I thought that was an idea. Yeah, I have an idea of what it is. I think I remember what this is. You know what it is? No, I no, hate no, that no, song. No, no. <laughs> it got overplayed by every edgy 12 year old back in the day. Myself included. <laughs> mm -hmm. So now we're waiting. It, it already read the, it already let go of all the fat, but now we're trying to brown it. So, no, I, I don't think, no, I don't think I've had carbon, carbon, Carbon carbonara, whatever you say it right, how, Carbonata. yeah, car burrito, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, that was like, I think, see, in, in, in southern, in southern terms, we're waiting to the juices of the pork come out. And juices, meaning the fat. You mean cook it or fry it up? No, we just. You won't know the southern way, bud. I'm just telling you, you was on that island that whole time in your life. I gotta tell you how to do damn bama. Come on, actually, it shrunk quite a bit, so I don't, I don't think it's that much anymore. The carbonara expect. That's where I've heard that from. Yeah. That stupid show. Not to say that He's I hate He's a pretty it. good magician. A lot of it was staged though. All magic is staged, dude. No, I mean by everything that he did on the show, everybody he did it to was in on it. And that's what disappointed me. I could be wrong, but from several sources that I've searched, because I stayed up till like two one night, Actually, like, how did he make that happen? And I That's why it's called a trick, Michael. But <clears throat> you know what? I will need it. Some wine. 
So red, red, why? You got run. No. Headache. I already have a headache from work. I don't need another one. Well, actually, I have two headaches from work. <clears throat> I'm good. Well, my kidney hurts, so that's probably a good sign. All right, so this bacon is starting to look the part. Get a close-up of that there bacon. Bacon. Ah. Woo-wee. As y'all will. Well, not all of us say ooh-wee. Just you? Wow, no. Actually, I say, hmm. Yeet. Yeet. You know. Yes. No. Actually, ooh-wee is, is actually cooler. What? How, how is ooh-wee cooler than yeet? I have no idea where the hell he's going. He does that. He's got like squirrel ADHD. Okay. This produced a lot more fat than I was expecting, so let's just take some of it out. Oh, 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 look at that. Hot. Yes, people, remember pouring hot grease down a drain is good for the drain. Not bad. <laughs> I'm just saying S T F H U or something. S T H Alright, so shut up. Put the other pasta in. And you quickly revolve it. Like vanilla ice. I thought it was collaborate. No. Then A little salt. Stick. Like me. Wait. And then you throw the goo. And before you put it back on the fire, can get all of it out. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Because the thing is, as soon as you put it on the fire, it's going to start cooking. And you want it to get to all the noodle kaboodles before it does. Kind of like an omelette de. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's starting to smell the part, too. Omelette de fromage. So, okay, are you... Looking at that goodness. I'm have to get in closer. Hold on, Paul. Let me get in closer. Look at that, Paul. So the thing is, you got to be extremely careful because one, you don't want to undercook it because you're going to be eating raw eggs, and I don't think that's good for your health. Two, you don't want to overcook it because then it's going to become gummy. You don't want that either. No. So you want. I need to cook, so now it's mixed pretty thoroughly. So you put it back on the fire. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. That song before my hair, so that's the only part of it I know. Yeah, I don't know it either. This call with burn now. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Start it cooking. Ooh, that was thunder. No, that was my cooking skills. No. Rumbling the house. Thor's like, yo dog, can I get some of that? Okay, so you gotta be pretty quick here in the last stage. Mixing and turning and making sure there's no, it doesn't clump up and like it's evenly distributed all over. See, but this is kind of slippery now, so you gotta switch tools. That's a spoon and a fork thing mixed together. Yes. It's a spork. That's it. Was, it that, we're in the future. We got a... It's a multi-tool. 
Back in my day. Okay, so we switch again. Remove from the heat. And then you take a quick look, turn off the feet, the heat. As you can see. And we make sure that everything is cooked and there's bacon all over and and again it's like I said, it's a bit tricky to you do it just right. So you gotta be careful. You don't wanna be eating raw, raw eggs. And wait, wait. Okay. Wait, so how do people eat over easy? Mm. Then again, dude, I don't wanna get sued. So. Oh, true. I hope you put enough salt in it. And that's pretty much the end of it. Normally we got, it will go nicely with some with some bread or whatever, but we have not, neither, so that's right, so we do. Perfect. Micah. Right. Tell me when. When? Two. Oh. Two. I'm, I'm right here. Oh, yeah, you, you don't eat that much. Yeah. Just one I'm, I'm trying to get in my wedding dress for yeah. next month. Because you don't fit. Yeah. I've been actually slipping up. I'm a pig, so I'm just going to serve myself a decent Holy amount. Holy crap, that's a lot. Put some of that bacon goodness in there. And you said there was too much bacon. Actually, I don't think it... You got plenty. I don't have that much. Now, this is not the type of food you, you can reheat. I mean, this is a, a one time deal. You cook it, you eat it. You can't reheat it. Oh, and it rhymes. TM is mine. Okay, technically it's not trademark because. <laughs> I put it on video, I got witness. So, pretty much, it is. And that's it for right now. You sit down and enjoy, and we're getting a storm. Pow! All right, cut it.